Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as we are uh, driving around. Um, the big story that people seem to be running with right now, it seems like the WWE is kind of leaning towards who is going to face Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. Um, Roman Reigns was nowhere to be seen at Survivor Series. Um, his last big matchup uh, was overseas. Um, against LA Knight. Is there going to be some sort of a rematch? Um, some people are kind of leaning towards uh, maybe they would want to, um, you know, push CM Punk straight to the top of the card, kind of like cash in on, uh, you know, him coming back to WWE for the first time in, in close to a decade. Um, you know, do they want him to be that main guy in the company? Um, and see where they go from there. Um, obviously, you know, there's stories all over the place. Some people, you know, really believe that Seth Rollins wants to fight CM Punk uh, and, you know, went after him uh, after uh, his debut at Survivor Series. Some people say that he was just, you know, kind of like playing his role uh, and it wouldn't have made sense if he came out there and it was, it was causing a commotion waving at people if everybody just stood in the ring and looked at him. We saw Dominic and Rhea flipping him off. We saw Drew McIntyre stomping off. Um, you know, Seth Rollins was flipping him off. Everybody sort of quickly jumped on the... Uh, promo um that he did for the video game when it was kind of rumored that punk would come back i believe last year and uh, rollins was saying that he hoped that punk didn't come back um we all kind of know that that roman reigns is a guy that can hold himself in the ring um roman reigns is a guy that can um you know take care of himself and is there for business and um you know i i think if He's told he has to have a match with this guy. He'll have a match with the guy, and it, it'll deliver, and it'll be good. The The one thing I kind of wor uh, worry about and I, I kind of think about is, you know, a few years ago uh, when Shane McMahon, um, you know, was in charge of the Royal Rumble, and he was also one of the head agents. He kind of booked himself to be, like, the main star of the Royal Rumble. People were happy to see him come back. I believe that Shane ended up finishing in the... Uh, final four if not the final five but Shane went on a diesel like run just kind of like tossing everybody um and uh I think this year in the in the women's rumble a lot of people may be looking forward to seeing um Jade Cargill do something like that but um if if Punk's in the rumble a lot of people are already thinking you know how does Cody win this how does Cody finish the story is this story really really fucking long uh, and maybe he doesn't win this year's Rumble and he has to come back and win the next year's Rumble uh, to get another shot to go after uh, Roman Reigns. Or is the WWE just completely abandoned um, the, the the story altogether and CM Punk is the guy that they want to run with uh, because he seems to be the biggest star in the world right now. Um, uh, I'm not really sure. I, I think that honestly, um, you know, I, I, it kind of looks like, in my mind, that LA Knight wasn't even at Survivor Series. Didn't have a match, didn't have a backstage segment, didn't have anything. Maybe WB cashed in on LA Knight and um, they got out of him with what they knew they could get out of him. And, you know, they're ready to, you know, they've, they've seen guys come, they've seen guys go, um, and they kind of already knew that it wasn't a long term thing, that he was going to be hot for a minute and they had, they had to get out, uh, you know get out of it what they could at the time um punk versus uh roman to me honestly seems like the right time to cash in on uh he was already running with the storyline that he never lost the championship um in aew um that you know he was running around with a belt with the next on it saying that he was the real uh world's heavyweight champion so it sort of links him to being the champion of aew kind of like reminds you of like when brock lesnar came back um to uh WB after being in UFC, he had been a former champion. You know, they put him in the ring right away uh, with John Cena, and um, I don't know. I, I know, I, I know that Brock fucked Cena up, but I think Cena won that match. And a lot of people were thinking that you know they were just kind of petty that he had left and gone to WWE uh, to UFC, made himself a big enough star that they had to beat him. 
you know, once they came back, kind of like when a lot of guys, you know, would leave, they 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 do some time in TNA or they do some time in in WCW back in the day. Is that you bring them back to the company and you beat them, um, just to just to show that the WWE is a bigger show with harder competition than there was anywhere else in the world. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I think that honestly, I believe in CM Punk to be able to to give a high caliber match. The the, the one thing that you got to think about is that when he came back and he was wrestling for AEW, he was giving all that he had to give in every match that he did. TV, pay per view, they don't do house shows, but you know what I mean. Like any any show that he was on, he was he was going to give everything that he had. But you know, he often would be injured after that match. Uh, he was, he was, um, you know, and, and then he would have to take, take time off. You know, do you put him in a match with Roman and, um, you know, beat him and then be setting up, you know, WrestleMania and then all of a sudden Punk isn't ready to go uh, or, or something like that. I, I, I don't know. To me, honestly, one of the biggest matches that I want to see in WWE as of right now would be Punk versus Cody. I don't know how we get there. Um, but if, if Punk versus Cody is a WrestleMania main event, I'm down for that. And that looks really fucking good. How we get there, I'm not quite sure. Um, but if, if Punk ends up being like the number one contender right off the bat, um, to sort of, uh, you know, jump off of what he was in AEW as the champion before he left, i take that. Uh, other than that, um, I really don't know well, what they're going to do. Um, LA Knight really, really, really is cooled off. Rollins, you think with his, with his belt, he would have his own championship match. And then people are already kind of booking him to be in the rumble as it is already. Um, so is he doing double duty that night? We've seen a lot of people do it. So I'm not saying he can't, but, um, I don't know. Rumble's right up around the corner, but, it, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it seems kind of far away at the same time. So we'll have to see what goes down, goes down on uh, TV between now and then.